Hello beautiful people, Robin Thomas here, also known as Brains by Rob. Welcome back to my channel. It is week four of our Protective Styling one-on-one -on -one where you and I sit down and we talk all about protective styles. This week we are going to be talking about crochet braids. Crochet braids have made a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. It has made a comeback. Definitely, definitely, definitely within probably the last maybe four to five years. And there are so many different types of crochet braids out there um, that you can install in your hair. People love crochet braids because they are faster. <laughs> they are, in some cases, lightweight. There's just so many great things about crochet braids. So if you are interested in that, please, please, please stay tuned. And we will get to that now. Like I said, it is week four and we have discussed all of our protective styles, week one, we talked about box braids on week two, on week three, we talked all about twists, and today, week four, we are talking all about crochet braids. So if that is something that you are interested in, please, please, please stay tuned. Okay, so today is gonna to be a little bit different. Um, this will be the last time that you see my face on this video. I feel the best way to give you uh, as much information as possible when it comes to crochet braids is to show you uh, the different types of crochet braids that I'm talking about. But unfortunately, I don't have every single type of crochet braid. But what I do have is Google. So I am going to be showing pictures of different types of crochet braids and explaining the pros and cons of each, when to, when not to install, and things like that. So stay tuned. Okay, first things first, crochet braids are absolutely gorgeous. And if done correctly, you can definitely grow out your hair with crochet braids. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm probably gonna hurt <laughs> some feelings just because sometimes we want certain styles, but our hair uh, condition or density um, does not really agree with certain crochet braid styles. And the goal is, of a protective style is to protect. So you definitely have to make sure you are choosing the right crochet braids for your hair type, your hair density, and your hair condition. You do not want to do anything, I mean anything, that is going to harm the condition of your natural hair through your natural hair growth journey. Okay, so let's talk about crochet braids with free hair. When I say free hair, I mean like the free trees, go-go curl, bohemian curl, water wave, um, loose curl, deep wave, any hair that looks similar to having some sort of weave in your head as opposed to individuals. So when I say free hair, think of curly hair or straight hair, or connect line hair, marlin hair, or things like that. Okay, let's first get this out of the way. When it comes to free hair and crochet braids, the hair is either gonna be big or you're either gonna have a lot of hair in your head. There is no getting away from crochet braid hair either being big hair or having a ton of packs on your head. And you know what a ton of packs equals to? Big hair. There is no getting away from crochet braids being big or having a ton of hair on your head. So please be mindful of that as you are listening to this video. Free hair crochet braids are synthetic. You know that because we go into the hair store, we may pay at most $10 a pack for crochet braid hair, depending on what brand we are putting in our head and how much hair is in the pack. Because crochet braid hair is synthetic, it can get really tangly. Um, it can get really matted. Um, it can become a mess, you know, depending on what hair you put in your head. Now, to me, when I think of a protective style is I don't have to do my hair. In my opinion, the best type of crochet braid hair to put in when it comes to free hair is the super curly hair such as um, Water Wave or Bohemian Curl or something like that. Any curl that is really, really curly, I believe is the best type to put in. Now, not just curly, but short and curly. The reason why I say short and curly is because remember, crochet braid hair is synthetic, which means it's 
fake. It's fake and you know that even when you're separating the hair, when the hair is long straight after pack, sometimes you'll see the hair get straight, it gets super duper tangly, and that's something that you don't really wanna worry about. When I think about crochet braids, I think about, or even protective styles in general, is not having to worry about my hair. So, whenever installing crochet braids, I believe that the best type of crochet braids to install is super curly hair because you don't have to worry about it as much. You don't have to worry about make sure it's detangled, make sure it looks good. Um, you don't have to have as much hair on your head with super curly hair because it's gonna cover your braids easily depending on the person that's installing it and how they are installing your hair. You also don't have to worry about it matting up as much, especially at the bottom. Um, a lot of the times whenever clients get crochet braids and the hair is long, they tend to come back a lot faster um, than when the hair is short. And that's where the hair is wavy, um, a loose wave, straight or curly because it just gets so tangly um, towards the bottom and so bad whenever they are doing their everyday routine, you know, trying to put into a ponytail and a bun or doing different styles like that. I personally believe again that the best type of free hair crochet braids to install is super curly hair such as Bohemian and Water Wave. Something that's not on the loose wave or the straight side. Now, if you are somebody who doesn't mind having to manipulate your hair um, on a day-to-day -day basis, then you can most definitely go for the loose curl, the wavy or the straight hair, um, like the Kanekalon or the Marley hair um, or deep wave or loose wave. You can definitely go for those if you don't mind having to style your hair or having to constantly detangle as well when it comes to long hair. If you don't mind doing the extra work, then you can most definitely put this hair in your head. What I will say though about using a loose wave or straight hair for crochet braids is your braid foundation is definitely gonna have to be um, a lot smaller if you want your crochet install to last long and for it to lay flat you're going to definitely want smaller cornrows as opposed to the bigger cornrows that you can do uh, with the super curly hair because the hair does get big the point of a crochet braids or something that you want to think about with putting crochet braids in is making sure that you cover the your foundation you don't want the wind to blow and you see your hair or you see your braid foundation that's another reason why i say that crochet hair um is inevitably going to be big or you want to have a ton in because you want to cover your braid base the reason it becomes extremely big hair is when you are consistently um, separating the pieces of hair. Now, you can tone it down by ha having some water in a spray bottle, spraying the hair on there, and kind of, you know, patting it down and um, mildly running your fingers through it. I mean, you can't really, but I mean, you can, but you can't. I hope you all understand what I'm saying. Like, if you've ever had crochet braids, you'll know what I'm talking about. But because the hair is synthetic, it just, it gets really difficult trying to tame and maintain um, crochet braid hair because it is synthetic but you always want to make sure that your braid foundation is covered so either you are going to be separating the strands of hair the ringlets then it comes in into many different pieces about 45 pieces or you're going to be putting those ringlets in and you're going to be using about four to five packs to make sure that your braid foundation is covered when it comes to the knotless method of crochet braids you want to make sure that your hair is in great condition on the braids that you are going to be doing a knotless method on. Because you have to put in extremely small pieces and you have to do them really, really close together, it can tend to be a lot of hair added onto that one specific braid or the two braids, whether you're doing a part forward or a side part or around the perimeter, you are going to be using a lot of hair for this. So you definitely want to make sure that your hair is in perfect condition. You don't have any weaknesses because if you do, you're going to be adding more weight uh, than usual as if you weren't doing a knotless method and that can damage your hair. So if you want the knotless method, um, definitely be mindful of the condition of your hair. Now, the knotless method I believe should only be done on loose wave or straight hair or using some type of Marley Afro hair. Um, if you did want to do the 
knotless method or the invisible method for crochet braids. I don't believe that it's necessary for the curlier hair like the water waves or the, um, the bohemian curls like I mentioned earlier because whenever you put your hair in, if, you're, if you are separating your hair into four to five pieces, it's going to look super natural as your hair starts to grow out. It's going to look like it is coming from your scalp. So it's kind of pointless and a waste of money, really, if you're going to get it done by somebody. It's a waste of money to the knotless method when it comes to super duper curly hair. Because when crochet, everybody knows when crochet hair gets older, when it's curly, the better it looks. So you're not going to really need to have to um, camouflage it or to make it look like it's coming out of your scalp. Um, using the knotless method with loose curl, wavy, uh, straight or marley hair, as opposed um, as opposed to when you are doing it with curly hair, it's really unnecessary. And like I said, it can save you money, and it can save you. Well, it can save you money if you're getting it done by somebody, and it can save you money from purchasing hair because with the knotless method, you definitely have to use. Um, more hair around the perimeter even though you are separating those pieces into really really small pieces you are still having to use a good amount of hair, at least a pack a single pack of hair depending on how much now that all depends on how much um, of your hair you're doing knotless now I use about a pack around I have a client who gets crochet braids knotless crochet and she uses or not use it, she gets three parts as the knotless parts or invisible part. And we use probably about one and a fourth of another pack just to make sure that all of her braids are covered and it looks like it is coming literally out of her scalp. But her hair is in great condition so we can do that for her. All right, let's jump into crochet braids using twists, locks, and braids for crochet braids. In the past few years, the companies have come out with pre-twisted hair, uh, pre-locked hair, and pre-braided hair to install as crochet braids. And that's wonderful for a lot of people who either don't have the time, the patience, or the money to pay for actual braid installation or twist installation or faux lock. Uh, goddess lock installations it is a different option for people here is where it gets tricky because a lot of people do not like to have a lot of hair on their head because it does get heavy having pre-twisted pre-locked or pre-braided crochet braids it can get really heavy on the head especially if you have thin hair or if you have thick hair, stay with me, I'm gonna explain it, okay? The goal is to always cover your braid foundation. Unlike free hair where you can take a ringlet of a curl and separate it into four or five pieces, you can't do that with pre-twisted, pre-locked or pre-braided crochet braids. It goes in the size that you purchase it as. But again, you have to make sure that your braid, braid foundation is covered. With thin hair, this most definitely can become a problem. And if you have thin hair, I am advising you right now, do not, I repeat, do not add pre-twisted, pre-locked, or pre-braided crochet braids to your hair because it can become damaging. If you have thick hair, you will have a ton of hair on your head for trying to make sure that your braids are covered. So that also adds a lot of weight onto your hair. A lot of girls um, like to wear their hair up in different styles and play with it, the versatility of installing pre-twisted, pre-locked, and pre-braided crochet braids. And with thin hair, trying to style and manipulate it, it can be very, very harming and damaging to your hair, as well as a person with super thick hair because they have all of that hair in their head and they're trying to put this super big bun on top and it is just mm, stressing out the hair. You, wanna, you want your protective style to protect 
always remember that you need, your protective style needs to protect. And unfortunately, when it comes to super thin hair or super thick hair, it can really, really weigh your head down. And that is something that you do not want to do. So you may have to think of a different um, install or a different protective style for yourself as opposed to using crochet or crochet braids, pre-locked, pre-twisted or pre-braided crochet braids as your protective style. Now, if your hair has an average density or normal density, then you should be fine. You always just wanna make sure that whenever you are braiding your hair um, around the perimeter, to go ahead and add a little hair, a little hair weave to that, just to have a more secure foundation and so that it isn't weighing on your edges. When it comes to having a normal density hair and the jumbo, box braids or the jumbo locks or the jumbo twists, you can do it, but make sure that your hair is not short. When your hair is short, your braids have to be smaller. And if you are trying to crochet jumbo hair in there, listen to me, you are going to have a headache for your entire install. Do not, comp listen, don't even, don't compromise sleeping trying to have a certain protective style, okay? Don't compromise your comfortability in your day-to-day -day life even trying to have a protective style. So if you have short hair, do not go for the jumbo braids. Go for more on the smaller or medium size because your braids are going to have to be on the smaller side. And trying to get the crochet needle through there and pull the hair through there, it becomes extremely painful. And trust me, you do not want that. I wanna go back to the edges really quickly. If you have average, um, average density type hair, you want to, if your edges, or this is actually goes for anybody, if your edges are um, in danger, <laughs> you know, that's the best way I can put it today. If your edges are in danger, um, and you think that it would be too heavy, then as in a different option, you may want to do the perimeter as individuals and add less hair uh, to your individuals so that your hair isn't weighed down. Now, if your hair is in terrible, terrible condition, you shouldn't do it at all. You shouldn't do any protective style at all and wait till your hair gets into a better condition, especially around your edges, because those are our most sensitive parts. If you're getting your hair done by a stylist, always consult your stylist on the type of hair that you want to have in for your crochet braids. If you're doing them yourself, always look at the condition of your hair and say, should I be getting these? What is the best size? What is the best length? Will it be too much hair on top of my head? Is my hair too thin? Should I even be getting this? Or things like that. Please make sure that your protective styles are protecting. Now, once you have um, figure out the type of crochet braids you want to put in. You can do different colors, different styles, short, long, curly, straight, whatever. Always remember to have fun during your protective styling journey. Thank you all for tuning in today all about crochet braids. I hope the information that I gave to you all was helpful. If you have any more questions or if there was something that I didn't hit in there for you or that you need me to explain a little bit more, please leave me a comment and I will respond to you as quickly as possible and in, and in as much detail as possible. Remember, my goal is healthy hair growth through the aid of protective braiding styles. I want everybody's hair to flourish, to grow, and just to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Week four of our Protective Styling one-on-one. -on -one. Please tune in next week where we're going to talk about faux locks and goddess locks. Um, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss whenever that video is uploaded. And for all the other videos I have, I will be sure to link the videos of the previous weeks on this description below. So be sure to check those out. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. Peace and blessings.